All right, welcome back, boys and girls. It's Thursday afternoon. And for reading, we're going to read our paired text. And our paired text is titled Extra Extra Fairy Tale News from Hidden Forest by Alma Flora Ada and illustrated by Leslie Tyron. All right, so boys and girls, this is fairy tale news. And let's think about what a fairy tale is. A fairy tale often has unbelievable characters and events, okay? Things that are completely made up, all right? Um, usually start with once upon a time. Sometimes they have a ma uh, magic in them. There's usually happily ever after. So let's read through this and see why do they call it fairy tales. Extra, extra fairy tale news from Hidden Forest. What do you think this is set up as? If you said a newspaper, you are correct. Now, I know not many of you probably have newspapers coming to your house anymore. They're online. Um, but way back, not, it's really not way back, but you might think it's way back. We actually used to have them delivered to our houses, and you can still get them delivered to the house um, in paper format. And actually, my very first job was a newspaper deliverer and I used to pull a wagon and throw papers on people's porches okay so this is modeled after a newspaper amazing chick sets out to visit capital Mexico so it means it's happening in Mexico the unique half chicken born on a farm on the outskirts of Guadalajara with just one leg one wing and one eye has set out to visit the capital of Mexico when asked, how a report, when asked by a reporter why he wanted to undertake such a long trip, he answered, I've been told I'm unique. Everyone says the capital city is unique. I want to say, I want to see what makes us alike. Okay, so that was one article. What is different about this chicken? Right, he has one leg, one wing, one eye. He's kind of like half a chicken. Only in a fairy tale would you see that. Half Chicken stops along the way to show his kindness, again, in Mexico. The reporter covering Half Chicken's trip to the capital city in Mexico reports that Half Chicken is not only a unique-looking creature, but also a kind one. Although he is very intent on completing his trip and won't stop for sightseeing or recreation, he has made several stops along the way to come to the aid of wind, fire, and water. They will surely not forget him. So he stopped to help wind, he stopped to help fire, and he stopped to help water. Cooperative farming. Join us in establishing a farming co-op and a farmer's market. Working together, we will achieve great results. Potluck, next Thursday, 6 p.m. at Mr. Red Hen's house, Avenue of Elms, Happy Valley. Child care with entertainment provided, courtesy of Goldilocks and the three and the little red riding hood. So, boys and girls, what is this? Well, it's an ad advertising a potluck, right? To um, for cooperative far and cooperative farming. So in newspapers you would see ads, kind of like on your YouTube video you see ads, only in newspapers they were written out. Half Chicken Experiencing Terrible Ordeal, Mexico. The reporter who has been shadowing Half Chicken since the beginning of his trip witnessed the unique chicken disappearing through the back door of the Vicor's of the I'm sorry, of the Viceroy's Palace. Though the kitchen through the kitchen window, our reporter saw Half Chicken in the hands of the Viceroyal Cook who seemed determined to throw him in a pot of boiling water. The reporter tried to enter the Viceroy's palace, but he was refused admittance by the Viceroyal guards. This would be a terrible ending for such a brave, kind chicken. So there's one of his adventures. First weather vane atop tower of Viceroy's palace in Mexico City. Kindness received its just reward. 
Half Chicken, whose trip to the capital city of Mexico has been followed by one of our reporters, was saved from a terrible end. When the vice royal cook threw Half Chicken into a pot of water on the fire, Water and Fire remembered the strange creature's kindness and came to his rescue. Water spilled on Fire, who immediately allowed itself to be extinguished. When the cook threw Half Chicken, now useless, to him out the window, Wynne lifted him up on top of the highest tower, and from there the unique chicken will have the best view of the capital city in the company of his friend Wind. So remember, through his um, ad- through his journey, he helped Wind, Fire, and Water out, right? And he was kind to them. So then when the cook tried to cook him, Water and and fire remembered that they worked together, and then Wind picked him up after he was thrown out the window by the cook. All right. So is any of that true? Of course not. Right. It, that's what makes it a fairy tale. Um, definitely some magic going on here. Um, they gave the author gave fire, wind, and water characteristics of a person. Okay. So boys and girls, I want you to think of half chicken. Okay. What makes half chicken unique? Let's look here. What is amazing about half chicken and extra extra? This is text evidence. So what's amazing about him? Let's do one together. Can you think of something that's amazing about half chicken? How about he is half a chicken, right? He has one eye, one wing, and one leg. That would make him pretty amazing. All right. What's another thing that makes half chicken amazing? Well, let's see. We need some text evidence, right? He helps fire, wind, and water, right? So that's pretty amazing that he could help fire, wind, and water. All right, I want you to think of one more on your own in today's assignment. You can use mine. Think of one more on your own. Now let's think of the amazing bird nest. Let's think of one of those birds, okay? Now, if you need to remember, at the end of your document on your assignment, I have given you the story, minus the pictures, okay? So let's look at, oh, let's see. I want to look at... City birds. City birds have lots of different materials to choose from. In some city nests, you will find a bit of paper and plastic wrap, wrappers. In others, you'll see paper clips, thumbtacks, hairpins, rubber bands, and barbed wire. One person even found money tucked away into a n- bird's nest, a $5 bill. So what makes birds amazing? Okay, I'm going to put, they can build nests out of things like money, paper clips, barbed wire. And I might change they to city birds. City birds can. And that would be my first one, right? That would be my first example. Um, You need to come up with two more examples for Amazing Birds. So you can use City Birds. Maybe it's the one about the nest that's used for soup. Maybe, you know, which one did you find most interesting about these birds' nests that make the birds amazing? Okay? It's your opinion why they're amazing, but you have to back it up with some text evidence. All right, now I'm going to use my ideas to write a paragraph. And the paragraph needs to be about 
Hold on. Let me get my paper ready for you. It needs to be about, there we go. Um, what is amazing about the birds in the amazing bird nest and extra, extra news from the hidden forest. So I'm going to restate my question. The birds in amazing bird nests and extra, extra are amazing for many reasons. Okay, that would be my main idea or my opening sentence. I'm saying the birds are amazing. I'm telling you that it's for many reasons. Now I'm going to go back up here and look at my t-chart. Okay, I need some text evidence. So my idea was city birds. So I might say, for example, city birds are amazing because and then why were they amazing? Well, my ev text evidence in that T-chart says they're amazing because they use many things like money paper clips and barbed wire to build nests. So I would have to put that into a sentence. That would be my evidence. Um, another example is when, and you can name a bird here, builds nests. Think of a different way. So what bird builds what nest that you think is neat? Um, no other bird can do this. So think of some of those because all of those nests were different. So think of some of those nests that you can give an example of that would make that bird amazing. Okay. Half chicken is also amazing because he, and then give me some text evidence. Why is half chicken amazing, right? That is why all of these birds are so amazing. And I know I used amazing a few times but that was really what our what our question was why are they amazing okay I might if I want to add some different word choice I could say so neat or so cool right for a different word for amazing maybe even end it with an exclamation point okay so you're telling me why they are amazing you're using your text evidence it should be a good well written paragraph that you get on this page Okay, so let's go through this again. When you download this into Notability, you're going to have access to the book. It's right in that document. So read it again. Extra, extra fairy tale news from Hidden Forests. I provided that for you. You are going to have to come up with three reasons for why the birds in Amazing Nests are amazing and why Half Chicken is amazing. You may use my examples if you would like. And then you are going to have to write your own paragraph about why those birds are amazing. Now boys and girls, if I want a paragraph, I should see five or more sentences. Those of you who turn in one sentence, I'm marking the paragraph wrong. Okay? Um, and remember, I have the story about the bird's nests in the same document for you if you want to reference it. All right, so um, if you have any questions, you may message me in Schoology. It is a Thursday. I am out for appointments today, so it might take me a while to get back to you. Um, but you may also ask the adult in your house for help or rewatch the video if you need to write down those examples. Okay, um, and then this is due. Submit it back to Schoology. All right, and it is called the Pear Text. That is what this is, the paired text.